of Virginia College campus in mourning. One day after a man opened fire, killing two officers, now investigators and heartbroken students and faculty are trying to understand why. We have in-depth team coverage tonight. Good evening and welcome to the News at 11. I'm Bill Fitzgerald. Our Leland Pinder will show us how campus and community members are remembering the fallen officers tonight. But first, we go to our John Burkett, who has new details from his exclusive Crime Insider sources about why the suspect was on campus in the first place and what the suspect's mother is saying about her son's arrest. John? Bill, those sources tell me the suspect, Alexander Wyatt Campbell, was believed to have been squatting on campus. Security officers were alerted to that. They were then uh, alerted to that. He was then taken out by police officers outside. That's when the violence erupted. Alexander Wyatt Campbell's court-appointed attorney asked for a mental health evaluation for his client Wednesday. Campbell's mom tells the Richmond Times-Dispatch that her son needed help, saying, quote, my son is mentally ill and he did something that I could not control and no one could come to help him. I'm sorry for what has happened. I could not prevent it. However, Hanover authorities tell us they have zero requests for mental health calls on his behalf. The prosecutors will be anticipating an insanity defense in the future, and that's why they're going to be asking him all the questions they can to nail down his state of mind. And they're going to be looking at his electronics to nail down his state of mind. Um, and defense attorneys obviously are going to be looking at that same thing. Crime Insider sources tell me agents believe Campbell was squatting on campus. And that's when campus security were called. State police confirmed in a press conference Tuesday the call was made by school employees. He was in a, a location that he shouldn't have been. And as a result, uh, some employees noticed him, actually startled him. And that's when they notified the campus police that they had an individual that shouldn't have been at this location. And that's why they responded. State police say multiple weapons were found on and off campus. Campbell is charged with the capital murders of two officers. John Painter, a campus police officer, and J.J. Jefferson from Campus Safety, the officers known as the dynamic duo on campus. Both students and alum are having a hard time understanding the violence. Graduate Ida Charlotte used to give orientation tours. I had a moment of guilt last night where I was like, oh, well, I don't know what type of influence I had over these people, but what if I had a hand in them choosing to go to Bridgewater? She says one of her selling points for the college was always touting it as one of the safest campuses in America adding she still believes it is. But Tuesday's shooting opened her mind to believing violence can happen anywhere. For any prospective students, I wouldn't let this situation influence your choice of going to Bridgewater or not. They still have a very fantastic um, campus police system. Um, and all the officers are very, they've always been very involved on campus and they're very familiar with their students. Um, and they make sure they're present on campus. And Wyatt Campbell is held with no bond. His next court appearance is on February 16th. I did call and text his mom for an interview. She did not respond. She did tell the Richmond Times-Dispatch, though, quote, that it's not about gun, gun control. It's not. It's about mental illness.